how you all doing? Welcome to this in live tutorial. In this in live tutorial, we are going to do, as promised, we're going to do the comic book effect or the cartoon effect, whatever. Um, it's quite an advanced tutorial, and I, I've messed a bit bet with it. What they suggest on the um, on their Facebook page, I do it slightly different. So um, just be aware of that. And um, yeah, let's get into um, to doing this. Um, comic book effect so I'm just going to use this image here and it doesn't matter too much um, about the image try and get a, a lighter background image if you're going to use an image of yourself it just helps a little bit so let's get straight into it I'm going to tap the screen just to reveal my sidebar and on the Facebook quickly just just so you know this on the Facebook um, and light tutorial they suggest you go to image you go to adjust you go to tools then you go to basic and you ramp up the exposure and you ramp up the brightness um, now I would recommend that you don't do this because um, you lose all the detail and we want to copy um, quite a lot of this detail so this is the way I would suggest that you do it um, we close down that image and we go to brushes first and we go to doodle and I'm gonna select either one of these two brushes on the left hand side then I'm going to go to tools and then I'm going to go to color um, I'm going to go to red now the reason I'm doing this is because I want to color this person's glasses in red um, otherwise just leave it on black I'm going to set the brush size go to size and ramp up the size to about um, between 20 and 30 to get and the thickness of the brush for these glasses and I'm just going to press tools and I'm going to zoom in a little bit you see that I've, I've made a dot over this um, over his glasses so I'm just going to select the erase button so it's down here in blue and I'm going to rub over that red dot that I um, pressed the screen when I zoomed in and I'm going to go back to brush and all I'm going to do with my finger is simply draw around the outside of this person's glasses now um, to get this right and to be happy with it, it might take a few attempts um, or it might take a little bit of practice. But just remember, it is a cartoon effect, so I don't want it to be perfect because cartoon effects are not perfect. You see, I made that little dot there, so I'll just select the erase brush and remove the little dot that I made on a mistake. So now what I'm gonna do um, I'm going to go to um, size first and I'm going to bring down the size to it's about nine between five and ten go to tools go to color and you then select black press color again just to hide the color swatch so now what I'm going to do I'm going to go around the outside of this character and draw in or, or um, trace all of the features and again don't worry if you don't get it perfect it's a cartoon effect and it's never going to be perfect who cares we don't want it to be perfect because if it was perfect it wouldn't be a cartoon effect and it would be a little bit boring and all I'm doing is drawing around the outside or just filling in some of the features And as you can tell, mine's not perfect, but I don't care because it's a cartoon effect. Now this is time consuming and it might take um, quite a bit for you to be happy with what you achieve here. Um, but really, if you make a mistake just click the back button it doesn't have to be perfect because like I keep saying it's a cartoon effect and we don't want it to be perfect we want it to be a little bit um, different so I'm just gonna go around now and draw I'm gonna purposely leave this gap here so it looks like we've got a neck and I'm gonna give him a fake collar also Again, if you're not happy with something, just click the back button and it'll erase. And this really is time consuming and um, I'm sure 
that it might take a little bit of practice for some of you but don't worry about it if it's not perfect just have another go and see what you get So, um, I'm too happy with those eyebrows. Let me make them a little bit better. So that's the way I'm going to leave it. You can see that it's not perfect. It's far from perfect. It's not exactly as it was, but that's the way I want it to be. So once I'm happy with that, I am going to um, click the little tick button in the top right hand side and then I'm going to go to image, adjust, I'm going to go to tools at the bottom, then I'm going to go to basic on the left hand side and exposure first and foremost and ramp up my exposure but not too much that I'm losing all of the colour because I want a bit of colour in this. Um, the brightness again, bump up the brightness so you're getting um, less and less detail of the original image but like I said we want the color so I'm just gonna offset I'm gonna drag the offset down a little bit and the contrast I'm gonna just ramp up the contrast a look up a little bit until I get something that I am happy with once I am happy just look at what we had to what we've got just by clicking this little button on the right side that's what we had that's what we've now got um, once I'm happy with what I've got I'm gonna click the little tick button and then we're going to start colouring it in. To do this, I'm going to select Filters, Duo. I'm going to go to Tools. I'm going to go to Position and choose my first colour. Um, and what we want to do is make like a skin colour. So select the first colour so the colour swatch pops up. And then I'm going to just open up this little um, colour palette. Along the bottom here, I'm going to drag over to between yellow and orange somewhere and then my little circle drag it over so you can see in color one on the bottom that it gives like a, um, a brown skin tone um, I'm going to choose color two um, and I'm going to choose something along the same lines but it doesn't have to be perfect then I'm just going to make sure my position is checked then I'm going to go to blending scroll across go to multiply select mask select clear and then apply you notice will automatically be selected for you I'm going to zoom in a little bit and then I'm just going to color in um, the face of my character using this um, skin color that I've chosen again it might take a little bit of practice for you to get it perfect just use zoom in zoom out um, in and out of the um, the character so you could get the colors or you could get the shading correct if you go over the lines like so just click back you will um, you can get rid of that and I'm just gonna color in all the areas of the face like so once I'm happy with that I'm not going to click the little tick button at the top right hand side what I want to do I want to stay within this area so if we want to stay within the tool set that we're currently using we can just click this little arrow on the right hand side and that's called flatten the flatten button so we're just going to flatten that so it's that that sort of saves that color if you like and then we're going to go to tools again select position go to color and I'm going to select like a deep blue for both colors because I'm going to do eyes now I'm going to select blending multiply you notice the color's not perfect I don't care um, select mask select clear zoom in and let's just color these eyes in like so um, and then I'm going to go for the hair but before I need to do that I need to click the flatten because we want to stay in the same area go to tools color one select like this a yellow color I want a bright yellow so to represent blonde hair select position select blending multiply mask clear and it's the same process over and over again to choose your colors 
Then I'm going to colour in the hair colour or the hair that I want. Um, if I want to get rid of this like blob down here, I'm going to go to wipe and just wipe away what I don't want. Then select apply again and colour in the parts that I do. And you notice I have gone over the lines, it doesn't matter. Um, select the flatten button. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to colour the shirt, I'm going to choose a bright green. So we go tools, colour one, go to the green, colour two, go to a green, um, green nice and bright, this green nice and bright, select position, select blending, select multiply, select mask, select clear, and then colour in the area that you want to colour in, like so. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's a car, a comic or cartoon effect that we're looking for. So notice I've gone over the lines quite a bit there, so I am gonna remove those like so by just selecting wipe and going around the outside of where I do and don't want. So I'm happy with my cartoon effect now and I'm not gonna add any more color, so I'm gonna click the little tick button um, and just make sure, just tap the screen to remove the tools. Just make sure that I am happy with this. Now you can save this out if you want, um, as it stands. Um, so I am going to save that out. Just click save photo. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select one of these um, dotted images that I've got here. I will put one of these in the description to the video so you could use this if you want to. And I'm gonna to want to color the background of this. So I'm gonna open up my tools by tapping the screen or selecting my little three bars at the top here. I'm gonna stick with filters, I'm gonna stick with duo. And then I'm gonna to go to tools, select color one. I'm gonna select this blue right here. And then color two, I'm gonna slide along and select this red color here. I'm gonna click, select my shape, linear, tools, and position. You can see my position in the center here now. Select blending, multiply, tools, and then I'm gonna rotate this position so it's diagonal. And then the little anchor points here in the center, I'm just gonna drag them out so it feathers that color um, into each other. I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna click, select the little tick button, and then I'm gonna go, to close down my filters, go to tools, and select mixer. I'm gonna go to the image that I saved out, go to tools, select erase, and start erasing the parts of this image that I'm not going to use. I've done it zoomed out in the first instance, just so I could do it quite quickly. Otherwise, if you zoom in too much, it takes quite a long time. Deselect arrays, pinch and squeeze to zoom it into your image. Then select arrays and remove the parts that you don't want in a little bit more detail. If you want to move it around, deselect arrays, move your image select arrays and then wipe around the areas that you don't want on your image every time you want to move it around deselect arrays and erase the parts of your image that you don't want and it is a time consuming tutorial this and it is a time consuming um, sort of effect but if you have to keep going back and practicing, there's nothing wrong with that. It just improves your skills using Enlight. So once I'm happy with all the pieces I want to erase, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. So this is my cartoon effect image. I'm gonna go to blending. Then what you can choose is one of these blending modes. I am going to leave it on hard light like so and just um, just drag the, um, the effect down to around 90. Click the little tick button, and then go to um, image, go to clarity, and then I'm going to select, um, 
again you can mess around with the um, with, with the, the effects on here but it's the portrait that I'm going to select I'm just going to turn down the effect a little bit um, to something that I'm happy with click the little tick button save that out so that's our cartoon effect um, saved like I said quite an intense tutorial quite an advanced tutorial but just with a little bit of practice a little bit of patience you can um, make quite a good effect using this um, using this technique if you have any questions or any comments please leave them in the um, in the comments below and um, thanks a lot for um, for watching and I'll catch you all soon